What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install Mist and Windows 3.1 in DOSBox. This is something that I just decided to do because um, when I was trying to install Mist, I installed Windows 3.1 just fine. Um, there's a good tutorial out there on that. Um, but there weren't any video tutorials and often I need to actually see and hear what I'm supposed to be doing rather than looking at just images. So I made this for those of you who were like me. I also had a lot of trouble installing Mist because I didn't know how Windows 3.1 worked at all. Um, so you'll need DOSBox from this location and link will be in the description and you'll need uh, these uh, no, not that. Uh, these four files here, uh, that will also be in, uh, there will also be a link to those in the description. Um, if you're installing Mist from a CD, uh, this will work for that too, but you'll need to change a few things. If you're installing this from Mac or Linux, that will also work, but again, you will need to change a few things as far as how the files are laid out. So, once you've got the once you've got these files, the first thing you need to do is I'll just close that for a second. Open DOSBox and then close it again. And this will create a config file. So, uh go to your app data folder, local DOSBox, and then click the config file. Uh scroll down until you see uh a line that says mem size equals 16. Change that to mem size equals 64. Scroll down a little bit further until you see a line that says cycles equals auto. Change that to cycles equals max. I'll put the steps in the description as well. <clears throat> Next, go all the way down to the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, and type in mount, oops, Type in mount c c colon backslash dos backslash c, and then uh, on a new line mount d colon c colon backslash dos backslash d space dash t space cd rom, and then save it and close it. Now we're going to do some file creations. I'm just going to close that. Um, so open up computer by going to the start menu and clicking computer and go to local disk C and create a folder in local disk C called DOS. Now go into DOS, your DOS folder, and create two new folders, one titled C and one more titled D. Uh, you don't have to do anything with D just yet. But fir so first go into C, DOS, so that's C colon slash DOS slash C where you mounted your C drive, and then make a, fol make w a new folder called install. And then make another new folder called S3. And then another new folder called SB and then one more new folder called MIST. And I just chose to put them all in caps. You don't have to put them all in caps. I just chose to. And then it's time to extract the zip files. So you have four zip files. Um, you have uh, MIST, you have S3, you have SB16, and you have Windows 3.1. So we're going to start with mist. So right click it, extract files. Use, you know, however you would extract zip files normally. I messed up a step. So I'm coming back to this here. I hope. Uh so open mist. We're going to start with that and click extract files C DOS D. And then click okay. And that'll extract it to D, which is uh, supposed to be the CD-ROM drive. 
So that'll trick your computer into thinking that Mist is the Mist CD is in the CD-ROM drive. Or, well, it'll trick DOS into that, into thinking that. Your computer knows that it's not, but DOS will think it is. And then next, do S3. So extract files from S3 to C, DOS, C, S3. And then extract files from SB16 to C, DOS, C, SB. SB. And then extract files from Windows 3.1 to C, DOS, C, install. And you are now prepared to go and start DOSBox and install and configure Windows 3.1. So open DOSBox, and it'll run these auto mount lines. So type C colon, and then type CD install, and then type setup. And it'll t say, you know, welcome to setup, and then press enter, and then press enter again. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. I never had this uh, DOSBox status window in Ubuntu, so maybe you don't have this. It's not important. Anyway, um, and just type uh, your name in, and then click continue, and then click continue, and then it'll do a little bit more, uh, and then click install again. You don't need to change anything there. And then click skip tutorial, because it's nothing that you don't already know, and then click reboot, and it'll close DOS for you. and then click uh, and then open DOS up and then rather than going into Windows uh, 3.1 now instead type C colon CD SB type install and then hit enter and then hit enter and then don't proceed using the settings shown here just yet go down to Microsoft Windows 3.1 path and hit enter and your uh, 3.1 path is the default C colon slash windows and then proceed using the settings shown and don't proceed here either go down a little go down to interrupt setting and set that to 7 and then proceed using the settings shown if you don't set interrupt settings to uh, 7 then sounds will play over and over again and it's the most obnoxious thing all right and then click back up when it asks you that and then hit enter and it'll tell you to reboot your system so close that and then open it up again and now we're going to go into Windows 3.1 because you need Windows th to be in Windows 3.1 to install the video driver so hit C colon CD Windows and then type win and you'll be greeted by a happy sound and then click OK and then click close uh, there just to close that window and then click Windows Setup Options Change System Settings and then in the display drop down scroll down to other display and it'll come up with a little box uh, type in C colon backslash S3 and click OK um, Click the down arrow once because it's just out of sight and select this 800 by 600 256 colors LF and then click OK and then click OK and then click OK and then click OK once and if that doesn't work then click exit setup and do those steps again and then it'll ask you and then it'll tell you and then it'll tell you a new driver for this display is already on the system and then click current and then restart windows and it'll give you this looks a little different but that's okay now to actually install mist close that you'll have applications selected by default so click file um, I just opened it like if I close it 
um, it, it'll look something like this. You'll have uh, applications highlighted here. So um, click File, New, and then select Program Item, and then click OK. And in Description, uh, set the description as Mist Installer. And then click Browse. And then down here where it says Drives, click the drop down menu and select the D drive. And then from this, uh, from the left screen over here, this menu over here, select install.exe, and then click OK. And then click OK again. The spec and then it'll tell you the specified path is, you know, you might not be able to access it later. Do you want to continue? And then click Yes. And then go into Applications, and Mist Installer will be in there. And then just double click it. And then press the Continue button. And then press continue again. It'll install the C colon mist, which cre we created earlier. And then click continue. And it'll tell you you've successfully installed it. Uh, close the README file. And then double click mist. And there you go. You've, there it is. Ow. That's, that's an awkward noise. Um, but there you go. Uh, if you go up to file, you can save your game, restore game, do whatever. But there you go, that's how you install Myst in Windows 3.1 under DOSBox. Uh, please leave a like if this video helped you. Um, I know it would have helped me. So don't bother subscribing because I never upload. It, it doesn't matter to me. You could go follow me on Twitch though. Um, Amazing Dragon uh, is my Twitch username. I'll put a link to that in the description as well, I suppose. Uh, I've got all the social media junk. Have fun with Myst. Best wishes. Good luck. Farewell.